Good morning, class. Today we're going to be talking about how houses are built. Does anyone know? Yes, uh, Coco. Uh, I believe I know, ma'am. They usually use masonry, concrete, or wood. The construction workers, they go out there and they do it by hand. Every time I see them, though, I usually pray for them that they don't fall off the ladder. Because that would be bad. Oh, yes, that's correct. And that would definitely be bad. Yep. Uh, we got our house built from the ground up. Oh, really? How long was the process? Uh, I can't really remember how long, but I know it was a real long time because we stayed in an apartment while they were completing it. But we live in there now. Really? That is awesome. I'm so glad you got to experience that. How many floors is it? It's three, but Mama keeps somebody down in the basement and we're not allowed to go down there. Someone in the basement? Is it family? Nope, I never saw him before. I hear him through the ground though. And sometimes I hear women and children too. Oh my, well, do they talk to you? Oh no, Mama says that we are absolutely forbidden from seeing the people in the basement. She's always whispering and telling us to walk carefully too. Oh, okay. Oh. Coco, please stay in class for a moment. The rest of you all, have a great day. So, Coco, um, I wanted to talk to you about the people in the basement. Are they nice? Uh, they sound nice a lot of times, but a lot of other times they sound like they may be angry. Oh, do they ever come out? Uh, I'm really not sure, ma'am. Mama just tells us not to go down there. And the few times that I acted like I was going down there and I was just joking, she got really, really angry and told me that I better not. Oh. Okay, well, do you ever feel unsafe? Me? Unsafe? No, not really. I think it's kind of cool that people I never saw before live in my basement. You know, sometimes I pretend that they're my friends. Well, that's a positive way to look at it. Yeah. Well, teach, I love to sit and talk, but Mama's waiting outside for me. She said today after school that we were going to go get me a surprise, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, right, right, right. I, I'm so sorry. Look, well, you go, and you have some fun today, and I can't wait to hear about the surprise tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sweetie. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you. I'm happy you like your surprise. <laughs> of course I do. It's all squishy and it smells good too. See? Smell it. Oh, it does. Oh. Who is that banging at the door? Who, who, who is it? It's the police. Oh, sh should I hide? No, it should be fine. Hello, sir. How can I help you? It's been brought to my attention that you're hiding people in your basement? What? Hiding people? Yes, ma'am. What amount of elementary alerted us that there may be someone being held against their will in your basement? Well, I can assure you no one is being held against their will in my basement. And why would my daughter's school even say... Wait a minute. Coco, why does this police officer think someone is being held against their will in my basement? Uh, well, the only person that I told people live in the basement was Miss Sweetie uh, and the whole class. Well, did you leave out the part that I rented out as an Airbnb? Uh, yes, possibly, because I didn't know that's what you did. Sir, I am so sorry for this inconvenience. Um, what, here is my business license that shows I can legally operate in the basement. Oh, okay, ma'am. We're sorry for disturbing you, but... You may want to have a talk with her so she understands what's going on. Oh, I most definitely will. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oops, did I do that? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. We're pretty big. Hello? Uh, he he hello? Hi, Hi Miss Street, uh... I, I'll call him to speak with Coco. And who is this? Uh, th this is Trent. I, I'm, I'm calling from my mom's phone. But I go to school with her. Is that right? Uh, okay, and honey, why are you calling? 
uh, well, I, I was calling to see if Coco wanted to play Roblox with me. And, and, and I wanted to see how she was doing during these times. Well, aren't you sweet? Okay, one second, Trent. Coco! Huh? A young man from your school named Trent is on the phone. What? T -t -t Trent? Oh, let me come downstairs. What? Like, like, like he's he's on on the house phone? Like this phone? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Hello, Trent. I mean, what's up, Trent? Uh, hey, hey, Coco. Uh, what you been up to? Nothing. Why? Why are you calling? Uh, I, I was just checking on you. It's been a while since we've been in school. You want to play Roblox? With a boy? Ew, no, Trent. Bye. Are you done talking to Trent? Y y yes. Gross. Ugh, boys are for old people like you, mama. Back. I'm savage. Classic. OG. Ratchet. Sassy. Movie. Nasty. You bet not. Coco, you are not grown. Don't make me call your dad. You know I will. I, w uh, I wasn't gonna do next part, Mama. All right, Coco. Okay. <laughs> Coco. Huh? Did you do your schoolwork? Well, I thought I dropped out, Mama. I haven't been in school since March. You know good and well I'm talking about your e-learning assignments. I'm trying to, but they got all these T's and dashes. What T's and dashes, Coco? What are you talking about? These. Let me see, Coco. That is addition and subtraction symbols. Let me help you. Okay, so what you have to do is take Mama. the- Coco, would you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? I'm trying. Okay. So like I was saying, you have to take these two numbers. Mama, I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do? You're trying to kill me. How? How am I trying to kill you? Your breath. My breath does not stink. It's tragic. You didn't have to say it like that. You didn't have to smell like that. Girl. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we talk.